you're way too exposed. So you put yourself in a situation where they need to save you and they don't have those choice. So it doesn't matter the shot call. When you are too exposed at the wrong timings, then you push your team to fight and they don't have the choice anymore. Okay? I know it comes from the fact that in the past you were being too safe. cara bermain mereka juga karena nggak hanya drop aja tapi lu bisa mengubah gaya permainan kita yeah. bisa langsung Let's lihat see. di game pertama ini antara SFI melawan EVOS Esports masih bisa time journey keluar tapi ternyata SFI tidak ingin berhenti untuk mengejar untuk kedua kalinya Rek harusnya bakal bisa dibunuh jauh apakah masih bisa lari keluar tampaknya enggak didorong ke belakang oleh kuda dari Ramzu dan langsung kill untuk Leo Mort berarti kita harus main lebih berani aja sih ya itu yang persoalan kan tadi lu tetap masih sering kalah di turnamen satu lawan satu Oh, oh Justin, kalau Justin minasnya di situ kan. Yeah. Nasid langsung saja flicker sampai di depan turret, tapi masih bisa kabur ke belakang menggunakan topinya. Semua oh. agresif dapat dijok juga. Just stop fucking pushing, help them. Come on, the very hard to buy. Mereka perlu dikasih pula. Kalau Eko, kalau menurut gua nih, Eko kurang berani ditinggal sendiri. Kalau dari saya. Eko kurang berani di tinggal sendiri. Gue gak berani. Dia tuh sering ngajak gue press. Udah ngajak gue ngecas gitu loh. Cuman gagal gitu. Oh iya, dua kali. Jadi, jujur ya. Jujur, jujur, jujur gini ya. Jujur nih. Jujur. Kalau gue itu, kita kan satu lane nih. Ibarat kalau gue ragu sama lu, kepercayaan gue kurang gitu sama lu kan bahaya ya. Yang penting, makanya gue tuh lebih milih itu diem jadi ya. Gak kalau lu harus ngomong sih. Cuman ya, dari lu juga jangan bandel lu. Soalnya lu paling, dan kita berlima lu paling bandel loh. Kalau sebenernya satu call. Gimana ya? Gue tuh kayak nilai mekanik gue tuh gitu banget Gak boleh gitu, gak boleh gitu Gak boleh Gue emang main buat jelek tadi Iya itu jelek bukan jelek. masalah mekanik Tapi kalau dia dikasih tau masih bandel itu berarti shot Dia masih bandel tentang shot call Dia kayak apa? When we lost um, What's in my mind? Well, a lot of things I'm When I'm watching them, since I cannot go on stage, obviously it's not like other games where the coach can stay behind the players. Uh, this one you cannot. So I'm thinking more like about what the bad things that are that I've seen, uh, or the, the 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 problems that will arise soon, or maybe the the mistakes in the strategies that they are doing. Um, Kasih gue sama Bustian aja Iya tadi, tadi, ya. tadi yang shot call nih ya, nih ya, gue denger ya Banyak shot banget cok Kalian yang shot call berdua Serius, yang suruh bad itu kalian berdua Mbak, gue gak bisa ngomong gue nanya Gue aja, gue tuh sampe, gue tuh sampe, gue sampe ke belakang sini, gue bilang Gue, gue nungguin Claudia nya aja nih Kalau gue tadi, hmm. Lord gue gak shot call, jadi tuh Justin ya, bilang gue bad Nah, bad Bustian bilang bad, nah gue bilangnya Tapi makro Gue ada bilang bad lor Dia ada bilang bad lor, gue bilangnya makro Oh iya Bisa lord gak gitu bilangnya Gak, gue langsung bilang bad aja, bad aja Gue gak nyentuh lor, ya gue gak nyentuh lor yang shot call bed, gue setiap kalau gue bilangnya tadi makro, makanya gue beda jadi See, it's hard for me to comment what you did because you don't play like usually and you play like five people in solo queue, man it's crazy sometimes you, you spend your time free versus zero in the lane we don't know why the, the other lanes are getting tanked and pushed but let's, let's push two tank and one, uh, I don't know, one helpers why? but basically against SFI Yeah, pretty much they are used to having me behind them uh, to show them uh, on the draft pick, to show them uh, when they are doing something wrong. Just not having me on the stage might have been an issue for them. But also, I saw that we were not playing as we are supposed to be. We've practiced every day like any other team. 
and we have a way of practicing. And just against SFI, he didn't show up at all. Uh, we only show, showed up the bad reflexes that we somehow sometimes have and the weaknesses that we have. And yeah, we didn't show it. We just didn't play like we used to do. Not a smooth talker under pressure. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. Pretty up from the minute that I met you. So, just gonna be honest with you, uh, this week I tried to be super nice with you, let you do whatever you want, be zero discipline, and this is the result. So now we have to prove that having discipline is important. So when I tell you go to sleep at fucking 1 a.m., you go to sleep at fucking 1 a.m. I'm disappointed in every loss that we can have, but I understand the process of like learning curve, you know, just losing is a learning experience for us. But don't be scared of finishing them when you have the early game. When you have the goal, when you see your head, finish them. Don't be nice to them. Stop being nice to the enemies. Fucking finish them. Okay? You can destroy them easily if you play like you usually play. We got this today. So now be good. Okay? And don't forget, play, try, take risk. Don't be scared. Fucking go ahead. And destroy them. Don't be scared. Alright boys, you're better than them. Play, play. Play. Play, play. play. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Oke, okay. sebelum kita mulai ya, kita mari berdoa dulu. Let's go, bro. If you are good, let's prove it now. Oke, okay? Ivos. Uh, relieved because when you practice like I said every time every day I mean every week for a few weeks and you know your team is worth uh, a victory against the other teams it's a relief to see them actually playing the game they are supposed to do right and uh, luckily I was able to, to draft with them which uh, is something 
that is allowed and which is something uh, that is uh, done in the practice when I'm with them. So I guess it mentally it helped them a bit uh, going into this match, just knowing that we did uh, the draft as six. Our team is seven with Listy, uh, but that's how we think when we practice and that's how we think when we play. The coach is integrated to the team and I think that's how it should be done in, in teams in general. So just them knowing I'm here for them to help them in the draft gave them a huge mental boost and just allow them to play normally, like they play that 100% like they all usually play. So uh, I think it showed pretty well, uh, still did some mistakes obviously because we are far from being perfect, uh, but at least they played good, they played the Evo's game that they practiced for and uh, the reward was at the end. As soon as you have a bit of early advantage, a bit of gold, just fucking find them and destroy them. Just remember the way you were playing today, okay? That's all you need to remember for next week and the other weeks. Remember the feelings, remember how you were thinking, remember how you were moving, how you were communicating to each other, that's what you want, okay? Uh, well, obviously what we can improve when we're inconsistent is being more consistent, but that's... Uh, you need to keep in mind the roster is seven weeks old I think yeah one and a half months uh, that's that's your start right okay Jess, Ura and um, and Rekt and G played a bit together but when you bring new members to a team you need to start from the, the scratch right from completely fresh uh, that means to get this pure consistency in tournaments not in practice because in practice we're pretty consistent but in tournament you need a lot of experience, a lot of matches, a lot of official matches. Tifos, roar! Tifos, roar! <laughs> 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 